My vision for African fashion is that ultimately it goes beyond the show of style and the business of fashion. My vision is that ultimately all the designers that we see here at Ghana Fashion Design Week, Lagos Fashion Design Week, and beyond the Western region of Africa are extremely profitable and are rivaling what designers in the West are profiting. In addition, I hope to see diversity in terms of our offerings. It's great to see a lot of our designers um, producing garments that are for the higher segment of society, but it would be great to see different strata of our different cultures able to afford a shirt that's 10 CDs versus one that's always several hundred CDs. And um, what I hope for Ghana is the same what I hope for the region, that profitability soon becomes part of the conversation and not just creativity. I think it's, it's doing very, very well. There are more and more designers that are being appreciated for their work. And the good thing is they're, they're starting to go to different countries now. You know, whereas before it was just contained here in Ghana, now they're going, some designers are attending different fashion weeks in different parts of the world. New magazines coming up that is um, showing off Ghana and African fashion. Uh, which is really, really good. We have um, more celebrities that are appreciating the African fashion, so they're also sending it out globally, taking it to another level. You know, now it's all about combining the print with different kinds of materials. We're starting to experiment. African fashion, the vision, oh, it's, it's huge. The rest of the world is now looking Africa. They were looking into Africa before. A lot of things that we do see on Vogue and fashion magazine, the inspiration is taken from Africa. Not that a lot of people know. So where you see people wearing all the cascade of bracelets and all the adorning the neck with all that jewelry is coming from the Messiah tribe and coming from different parts of Africa. You know, so we've always been there, but now we're starting to get the recognition that we really deserve. It's ready now. It's been a long time coming, but I think we, we, it was evident during Ghana Fashion Week that we are moving to a different state. Um, we had fashion that the boutiques and the way we had the boutiques in the past wasn't innovative enough, it wasn't moving forward, it wasn't taking on board what's happening in the other parts of the world in terms of fashion. But I think now, visually, our designers are aware of what their competitors are doing, what the rest of the world is doing in terms of fashion. And if we can incorporate that information and have a niche for ourselves, use our boutique and our creativity in a different way, then we'll have something else to sell to the world. Well, I feel it's a very positive, evolutionary uh, uh, outlook on where we're going with fashion. I believe that uh, with Africa being the next big thing, we're really moving as a fast-paced development in terms of what fashion can do for us and how we are contributing to fashion in the global sense. I believe that um, Africa is here to stay and I believe um, with the rise of, of, of uh, different labels, um, it, it gives us confidence to do what we love doing. I mean, African fashion here is very colorful, vibrant, um, it has very much an ethnic tone to it, which not necessarily everybody in the States or in the Western world would want to wear. So what I try to do delicately is combine these traditional textiles and traditional fabric making techniques with, um, with Western style, and together I feel that we can bridge it together so that we can have a more global economy.